Hey guys, Gary here. I am with Pat Mac. Awesome. Uh, we're in Union Town, PA. Union for Town. Taps Pistol. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm, I would think that everybody out there pretty much knows who you are. But what is Taps Pistol? Well, Taps Tactical Application of Practical Shooting is kind of a course I run, and uh, it could simply def be defined as uh, it's a train to trainer leadership course built around a shooting program that adheres to the fundamentals and incorporates individual complex battle drills that are ambiguous in nature to encourage quick, uh, quick thinking and decisive action. And the training methodology that I follow is through coaching. I like to demonstrate a method of training that is safe, efficient, effective, it's combat relevant, and encourages continuous thought process and demands accountability. A lot of focus on the fundamentals, on footing, on proper bullet placement, and uh, one of the things we try to adhere to is getting out of a uh, flat range mindset and understanding what train like you fight really means. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So that's a pretty good description. Yeah. Is that your elevator speech? That's my 10 second ride elevator speech. Nice. I'm going to go back and look at the footage and see how long it took. Right. <laughs> so you got you do a TAPS rifle as well? Yep. Uh, or carbine, whatever you call it. Yep. What else you got going on? Well, uh, or I combine the two. My typical TAPS course is a combination carbine pistol. Uh, and um, the methodology is the same. A uh, lot of different courses of fire uh, in both of those courses. Other things I teach are uh, close quarter battle, and I've been running a Sentinel course too. So the Sentinel course is based off of my Sentinel book. Which I reviewed, and the link's down here. Woo! Rock and roll. Um, the, the Sentinel course is a shooting program, but it understands that just because we have a gun does not mean that we are armed. The mind is the greatest weapon, and it it uh, it also understands that experience is something we get shortly after we need it. So it has four mini blocks in it. It's a shooting program. I encourage you guys to go from concealed during the shooting program, and um, the mini blocks are a, a short whiteboard on combat strength training, uh, your home, your castle, so a, a bit on like home invasion, uh, one on fighting, and one on vehicle considerations. Because the premise of the Sentinel book is you, the individual, should be the agent in charge of your own executive protection detail. You need to be your own first responder. So how can you take what an executive protection detail does, which is pretty freaking extensive, and work at a more micro level? Awesome. Yep. Uh, so a couple things that, that you touched on sparked my memory here. So at this pistol class, we were uh, inundated with police officers, a lot of them using their duty gear, which is, is uh, acceptable. Yep. Uh, I did yesterday concealed, and that wasn't the problem either. So yep. there's no prerequisite there nah. as far as nope. is that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm sure somebody would ask me if I didn't address it. Yep. And uh, you mentioned the combat strength training as well. Yeah. And you have a whole separate thing from yeah, it's, for that, don't right. You? It's a whole separate entity. It's um, CombatStrengthTraining.com, and uh, I've got an ebook, a Combat Strength Training ebook, and then there's also the, uh, all the online material where you can actually sign up for the online material. Yeah, it's a good program. It, it's uh, it's performance based as well. It understands that we all perform differently, and performance is measured by doing what we can with what we have. And um, it, so it asks, the Combat Strength Training Program asks this, if you cloned yourself yesterday, can you kick your clone's ass tomorrow? C kick your clone's ass tomorrow. So it's all about making incremental improvements. Awesome. So that link will be down there too. Uh, and I'll put the link down here where we can sign up for classes for uh, TAPS Carbine, the TAPS Pistol, the Combo, you know, whatever yep. you're running everywhere. Cool. And uh, how often does, does that update? Because I know like this class popped up quick well I, I run a lot of courses but uh, I don't have a lot of um, open enrollment courses online okay. uh, I try to update them on my website uh, tmaxinc.com uh, sometime they pop up because one might fizzle out or not get filled so like this one here emerged in like a month and a half ago yep. and it filled in nanoseconds so yeah so okay. keep an eye on the link um, actually I had somebody tell me about it because I had been remiss in keeping tabs on it yep. and because uh, I was looking forward to coming down to Camden because all my boys still live down there and right. so I wouldn't have to pay for anything I get to see all my friends again and that thing filled up like fast yeah so word of mouth spreads just as far or just as fast as checking the website Absolutely. but uh, keep a, a eyes on the link that's down there and uh, highly recommend that when one pops up jump on it because it fills up quick yep because uh, it's pretty small class sizes compared to right and they're they're action-packed they're a lot of fun you know they're uh they're not as high of a round count as what you would imagine. I mean, this two-day pistol class, 
it'll probably be like between eight and nine hundred rounds, but every round is accounted for. There's no freaking uh, expensive noise on the range, no ballistic masturbation on the range. Everything is accounted for. So sore hands. Eh. Yeah, I might might be experiencing a little of that yep. too. All right, well that's what I had. And uh, depending when I edit this, if the if it's short enough, I'll put my course review afterwards. If not, it might be a separate video. So if you look at the bar at the bottom and it's only halfway through, there's more shit. If not, pay attention and it'll be a, a second video coming up. And uh, I want to say thanks for coming up to PA. Uh, a few years ago when I did the review on the book, I said something like, hey, I can't wait for him to get here. And you commented and said, well, I make it there. So I'm yep. glad that that worked out well for this weekend. Hell yeah. Thank you. Yep, thanks, man. And if he doesn't record, uh, review my course well, I'm going to jack him up. Eesh. Just kidding. Ah, rock and roll. Thanks, man. All right, so uh, course review time for Taps Pistol. Uh, so, uh, where to start? Uh, shit we did, day one, a, uh, a lot of drills that uh, took place, uh, I'm gonna say on the upper body. So, uh, not a lot of uh, foot movement, uh, no, but a lot of things about becoming a better, uh, more accurate shooter. And uh, some of those really stretched my ability. And uh, I wished I had done better. But, uh, you know, there was improvement throughout the day. It was a uh, uh, challenging courses of fire. So uh, day two, we integrated the bottom half of our body a lot, and uh, a lot of movement uh, around where we were shooting from, and then a lot of movement to get to where we were shooting from. And there was, in addition to that, a lot of drills, uh, courses of fire, whatever you'd like to call them that we did, that you had to think your way through. And uh, Thinking outside the box was a, a, a great bonus for that. And I did okay on that stuff. Um, I really enjoyed uh, all the things that we did on, on the second day. I mean, I really enjoyed the stuff on the first day too. But then the second day was really where everything was at. I mean, all, all the good stuff was... I don't want to say all, all the good stuff, but uh, day two was an improvement on day one. And uh, I totally, totally enjoyed myself. And uh, I learned a couple things about uh, weaknesses that I have and, and a couple strengths that I have as well when it comes to my shooting. Um, in addition, I learned some uh, techniques and tidbits for my instructing as well. And uh, any instructors out there uh, know that when you would take another class, like there's stuff you pick up like the way something was phrased or put together and then you're like man that, that really worked for me and I'm you know try that in, in the future with other students as well um, Pat's uh, teaching style uh, I really liked it like he just cut through bullshit uh, and he was he's very cerebral uh, a smart fella it almost seems like he's uh, uh, like a sports scientist who directed his uh, expertise towards, you know, uh, the athletes that he directed it towards were warriors. And uh, a lot of really, really good information without sounding like all fluffy, like, oh, I'm gonna use big words to sound smart. Like, uh, it, he sounded smart because of the content, not because of how it was delivered. And uh, it, was, it was awesome, very awesome. And not a lot of, like, I'm gonna come up and coach you kind of, instruction because uh, if a, if one fella's having a problem with something, there's probably more than that guy having with it. So it was just something that would get addressed to the group. So we didn't have to single anybody out. And we all got the information based off of what one, one the mistake that one guy was making. So really beneficial. Totally, totally loved Pat's teaching style. And uh, I mean, I'm going to be honest, but, you know, I watched the videos just like you all watched the videos. And when I said, hey, you know, what guys do I want to train with? It was Mac's personality that made me say, I, I want to train with that guy. And uh, that's the second time that I've 
picked an instructor based off their personality and it paid huge dividends. So, you know, if you like a dude, go train with them because chances are you're gonna enjoy yourself and learn something. Uh, I was in a class of 15 people and it was 13 police officers, me and one other civilian. And the police officers like mostly use their duty gear or some reasonable facsimile of what could be duty gear. Uh, you know, Safari Land 6004s or whatever the fuck number they're using nowadays for ALS, BLS, fucking BS, uh, whatever. And then uh, the other uh, normal, regular old fella, I don't want to say civilian because what the fuck are you meeting in the military? You were a civilian. So the other non law enforcement guy, he was carrying outside the waistband, and I did like all a day one from concealment which added some difficulty to the day, but everything worked out great. And then uh, day two, I switched to my gun belt, did outside the waistband stuff, and uh, it was way nicer not having to clear any cover garments. But the, the rest of the class was actually really, really cool. And um, some of you out there might be like, oh, yeah, a bunch of cops. Uh, but uh, I'm telling you, uh, there was a bunch of state, uh, Pennsylvania State Police in there as well, and most people uh, view uh, PA State Police as very uh, snooty. They look down on everyone, that kind of attitude. And maybe it's that stupid hat that they wear where the, the chin strap only goes to like their nose or I don't know, the lips. I don't know where it goes. It's a fucking retarded hat. But they take that thing off and they're pretty cool guys. Uh, the host was a, a state cop. And there was you know, some of his buddies and a few local police from down that area. I think we had one guy come from New York as well, like a treasury agent or something like that. And what a, what a great bunch of guys. So the fact that me and the other non-law enforcement fellow were in class didn't bother them in the least bit. Great bunch of dudes. Uh, all of them were way more fit than I was. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I shot better than some. Not as good as others, so I, I was okay with all that. But a, a great group of guys. Uh, we were down in Uniontown, and it was in a, a small, like, 50 yard range that was uh, tucked behind a firefighting school. Uh, I think it's private, so if you live in, around Uniontown, you're probably out of luck for going there. But uh, facilities were fine, and the host, uh, he was awesome. So, uh, he uh, had, I believe it was his mom, uh, or maybe not, I don't know, I didn't really ask, but uh, brought lunch both days, and, like pulled pork sandwiches and salads and pasta salads and shit like that. So, uh, uh, you know, not just the, you know, a six foot sub from Subway. So uh, that was really cool and, uh, you know, Matt was on top of stuff for getting things organized. He was a, a great host. Um, so it was a great curriculum, great instructor, great facility, great classmates. Uh, had a fantastic time. I got, I don't know, 10 pages of notes or so, um, which is more than I normally take. Just pretty much like every time Mac would throw something out there, I was like, hey, that's a good nugget. I should write that down. In addition to some cool drills that I'll be uh, integrating into my own practice regimen. So all in all, uh, long version short, if you get a chance to do uh, TAPS pistol, and I would imagine TAPS carbine as well, you should uh, jump on the opportunity. Uh, Mac keeps the classes small, and so they fill up fast. And you really just gotta stay on top of his website to see what's coming, when and where. And uh, I totally recommend getting on that. I don't, he doesn't come to Pennsylvania a whole lot, so, if you're local to me, uh, it won't be an everyday thing that you get that opportunity. But if it comes around, you should jump on it. Uh, if you can't get in there, you should definitely get in somewhere because more training is good. And the more training people that are out there, the better. So, fucking, you know, get some training somewhere if you can't get it from there. Uh, by the way, I kind of do that for a living. You can, you can follow some of the links down here if you like. 